Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So let us see some more uh, trivia questions. So let us see this example regarding arrays. So character, some array, we are not giving any size of this array, but we are directly initializing the uh, some string. So that's why the length of this string will be treated as a size. So here, what is the length? So zero, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the length of the string is 13. So index starts from 0 to 12. Right? So as we know that. So automatically the string length of A will return 13. But what about the size of A? Here we are not mentioning. But by initialization it will directly it will take the size. So here it is not 13 but it is 14 because by default for a string the compiler will add the null character as an end of the string. So whatever the string we are assigning to the character array at the end of the string the compiler is responsible to append this null character. So that's why so total 13 plus this null character is equal to 14. But coming to the string length, it will return the length of the string excluding the null character. Excluding the null character. So that's why we will get a 13 here and the size of A is 14 because including null character. So hope you understood the difference, a small difference between the size of and string length. Right. So let us move on to the next question. Right. Coming to the second one, this is also regarding the arrays. So a of 3, we are mentioning the size here, right? And then we are initializing, we are also initializing. So that means declaration and initialization. So welcome, the text is welcome. Here, the length of this text is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. But the length of a is 3. So here 7 means index values are from 0 to 6. Here 3 means index values are from 0 to 2. Right? Hope you understood all these things. Then we are printing this string directly on the screen. Now here we can observe that the length of the text we are assigning, the string we are assigning is greater than the length of the array which we are declaring. Right? Here we are declaring only 3 bytes, okay, 3 characters. Here we are assigning 7 characters. Now there will be no compiler error but it will print only the 3 characters that means 0, index 0. 1 and 2. What are the index 0, 1 and 2? W, E, L. So this only will be printed. All the remaining string will be just ignored. Right? Based upon the declaration, the size of the array, it will take the characters from the string and all the remaining characters will be ignored. That's a simple thing. So there will be no error, no compiler error. So, so declaration, the size of the array can be less than the assigned text, the assigned string, but it will take only the characters that depends upon the size of the array. That's a simple thing. Here only three characters, index from 0 to 2, 0, 1, 2. Only the three characters will be printed. Right? So I hope you understood. We will move on to the next question. Right? So we will move on to the next one. So here a is equal to 20 and a is equal to 20. So here we are declaring two variables. But there is a difference between scope. Difference of these two variables is scope. So both are with the same name. So this is the global variable. Right? This value can be used in both the main function and the user defined functions which we are writing outside the function. Right? So this is the local variable. 
so in whatever the function we are declaring the variable will be used only in that particular function itself so that means a can be used in only main function it cannot be used in any user defined function which we will write or uh, 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 that is written outside the main function right the scope will be within the block now here the question is a global variables can be accessed in every function in the main function or user defined function so if you print a value in the main function what will be printed whether this value or this value and whether the local variables or global variables so here statement is if the variables local variables and global variables shares the common name the first preference the first preference will be to the local variables right so the first preference will be always to the local variables so here the output will be 10 but not 20 10 but not 20 right the first preference will be local variables and if it is b if it is b in b is equal to 10 then it will automatically take the global variable and it will print 20 if it is a then the only the local variable value will be printed right so hope you understood this one so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding the c programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much